What's up everybody, thanks for checking this video. Today I will show you how you can manage multiple WordPress websites or just one from your terminal with the WordPress command line interface. This is a great tool because it can help you to speed up and automate your process if you need to deal with many WordPress installations or recurring setup processes. Maybe you don't have access to a remote server where you need to install WordPress for your client, or maybe your site is down to do some bad plugin or theme, or maybe you're just simply tired of manually downloading WordPress from the website every time. Let's take a look at how we can speed things up with WP CLI. Little disclaimer before we start, this video assumes that you already have configured a server, remote or local, that comes with PHP installed and an SQL database like MySQL or MariaDB. If you don't know anything about that, don't worry, I have made a bunch of videos where I showed how to set up a local development environment on Linux or how to set up a remote server from scratch. Check them out in the description below and if you like what you see, please leave a like and subscribe to get more. Let's do this. We will use curl to fetch the latest stable build. Type the command you see on the screen or you can copy it from the description below the video. This will download the far file, which is in fact our entire CLI. Make that file executable by typing chmod plus x wp-cli.far and then move it into our global bin so all admin users in your machine can trigger it. Type sudo nv wp-cli.far slash user slash local slash bin slash wp. Now if you type wp-info you should see the package info of our newly installed wp-cli. At this point, I want to install WordPress into a directory which I don't have physical access to from a file manager, so I need to do everything from the terminal. My directory is called PHP Tutorials, but this procedure can be applied to any directory or any remote server if you have access to it via SSH. To download the latest available version of WordPress, you can type WP Core Download. If you want a specific localized version, you can specify the dash dash locale attribute and reference the preferred language. If you don't add anything else, WP CLI will download the default English version. The CLI will download WordPress and verify that what you got is legit and safe. Now we have WordPress downloaded and unpacked right in our folder. If we take a look at our site URL, you'll find that WordPress is ready to be installed. You could go on and proceed with the web interface installation, but if for whatever reason you can't or you simply don't want to, we can continue the entire process inside our terminal. First of all, let's rename our config sample file into the regular config by typing mv wp-config-sample.php space wp dash config.php. Now let's edit that file and for these we can use the nano editor. Type nano wp dash config.php. Here let's just update the three basic parameters needed by WordPress to connect to a database. In this case I have a local database I created which I can connect with a simple password. Since this database is only accessible from my local host without any remote access, this is safe. Let's save the file and close the nano editor. Now we can use the WP CLI to trigger the installation of WordPress by typing WP core install and then type all the parameters that the web interface would usually ask us to input. Dash dash URL to specify your website URL. Dash dash title for your website title. Dash dash admin underscore user for your administration username. Dash dash admin underscore password for your administration password. And dash dash admin email for your administration email address. Remember, these parameters are not the admin credentials to your server or database. These are the information to log into your WordPress administration panel. Press enter and you should get a success feedback. 
Don't worry if you get a send mail error as the CLI will try to send an email using the specified admin email, but if your server doesn't have mailing capabilities, it will simply gracefully fail without stopping the process. Done! You can now access your website URL and find a newly installed WordPress site. Add the usual slash wp admin to your URL to access the administration area. Type in your previously defined credential and you should have access to your WordPress admin panel. Great work! Thank you for watching and happy coding!